Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Umar, and today we'll model this uh, torsion spring in SolidWorks. This would be practice exercise 23 of this uh, playlist, and I will provide its file in the description link, so you can download from there and you can practice. Well, a torsion spring is a spring that uh, works by twisting its ends uh, along its axis, and uh, you can see that this one end is fixed here and one end is fixed here and it will twist along its uh, its axis right uh, here just here and you can see some examples uh, this is a clip and you can see that this torsion spring is here and you are twisting this spring along its axis okay and you can see uh, some more example here as you can see that this is a hinge and you can see that one end is fixed here and other end is fixed here so let's go to your SOLIDWORKS and as you can see that I have already created this part so let's go to your new select part and select OK and now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface so first of all as usual I will always change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MMGS ok so let's start by selecting front plane select the sketch and first I will create a outer diameter of this uh, spring so let's go to your circle command and uh, i will create uh, one circle having diameter 60 millimeters and uh, let's exit this sketch let's go to your features curves and under curves you will see this option helix and spiral just uh, rotate and now you can see your uh, helix so uh, i will change my pitch to let's say uh, 10 mm and uh, revolutions uh, let's say 10 I'll change it to 10 and a start angle would be 180 degree and clockwise okay and uh, I will check this box now you can see that your helix is created and uh, let's convert this to 3d sketch so that later uh, we can use uh, a sweep box space so let's go to a sketch and under the sketch I will go to the 3D sketch and I will select this curve I will select this option convert entities and now you can see that uh, this uh, curve is converted into uh, 3D sketch ok so let's sketch two lines one line here and one line here and uh, remember when you are dealing with 3D sketches uh, make sure that you are creating your sketch in correct plane ok so let's go to your line command and I will select this point and I will create one line ok and now you can see that this line is not uh, in the correct plane so I will select this line and I will select uh, along Y now you can see that it is on the correct plane ok uh, similarly I will create another line and this time this line would be here and I think uh, it is on the correct plane ok uh, if you are not uh, on the correct plane, so just press tab uh, so that you can switch to uh, other planes. So I will select this line, hold control key, I will select this line and I will check this box, make equal. Uh, it is still underdefined, you can see that I can still drag these lines. So let's go to a smart dimension and uh, let's say the length would be 75 millimeters. Okay, and I will exit this sketch. Now you can see uh, your model in the wireframe. Let's go to your features and this time I will use this option. Uh, we need a circular profile. So I will check this one circular profile and uh, this diameter would be let's say uh, let's say 8 mm and I will select this sketch. And now you can see that the preview of your sketch uh, now you can see that your torsion spring uh, is created so uh, I will select this curve and I will hide this curve and uh, I'll go to here appearance and uh, under appearance I'll go to here metal and under metal I'll go to here aluminum and uh, I will select uh, this one now you can see that this material is applied and uh, uh, let's go to here section and I will change this section plane and now you can see that the section view of your uh, uh, spring uh, we can uh, drag this 
this option is very helpful when you are dealing with complex assemblies so that concludes this uh, uh, tutorial and uh, uh, if you have any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section uh, thanks for watching and please uh, subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you